Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In this video, we are going to discuss deep and well diode extraction based layout mistakes. Before watching this video, kindly watch the previous sessions of this deep and well related videos which I have uploaded so that you can easily understand this part full. I have given my personal LinkedIn account here. If you want to connect and follow me, kindly do that. In our last video, I have mentioned that uh, we need to manually add this deep and well uh, layer. Exactly, it has to overlay on your end well. It should not be even left or right. It should not be misaligned. or It has to be properly aligned with the end well. So that's what we discussed in our earlier video. So in our earlier video that we have already checked that these blocks are DRC clean and LVS clean except the diode parameters errors because we have not updated those diode parameters informations in the schematic. Uh, that can be easily resolvable. That is not very difficult to work anyway. So here what I am going to tell if at all if I am extending this deep and well from outside. Okay. See what I have done it here. I have my envel layer present in this video. Okay, so here we have our envel layer. Okay, one micrometer exactly. Envel layer width is one micrometer exactly. See here, this is one micrometer. I have a deep envel layer. So here my deep envel layer is slightly away from the envel, so which is exactly located outside of the envel area, near almost like uh, 0.47 microns. Okay, so now I will save this layout and I will run LVS, see what type of errors I am getting in the LVS extraction. Okay. So now uh, we got our LVS extracted report. Previously we don't have any errors in the LVS, but see now we have an incorrect net. There is some incorrect net present in our layout. And then see there is incorrect instance. There is an incorrect instance presence in our layout and there is a property error. So already we have discussed like this property errors can be easily resolvable by updating the values in the schematic. But now just we have extended this deep and well layer. So and keep it side by side here. See, I just kept my deep and well layer little away from the envel. So right side deep and well is exactly overlapped on my envel, but left side. My deep envelope layer is 0.75 micron away from the envelope. So if you extended this envelope to deep envelope, so what happened? The tool is identifying that there is another parasitic diode and there is another incorrect net. See, instance, incorrect instance. Let me check what is this incorrect instance. If you highlight this area, see the tool will highlight exactly this portion. You can clearly see that what type of where the diode is forming. See here, the tool is identifying that in this particular area, there is another formation of parasitic diode is creating with having some random number. Okay, one terminal of the di one terminal of the diode is connected to VDD. Okay, because yeah, deep envelope is connected to VDD. That is nothing but our cathode terminal. Deep envelope terminal is a cathode terminal. It is connected to VDD, but anode terminal is connected to some other net, some random net. Okay, from where this anode terminal came into figure. So we have a piece of state here because all the devices are going to get fabricated in the piece of state layer. So that piece of state layer at this point of time, this piece of state layer is not connected anywhere, right? Inside the deep envelope layer, we have a piece of state layer. This piece of state layer is isolated by this deep envelope layer. So outside of the deep envelope layer is also there is a piece of state layer. See wherever we are seeing the black color uh, layers, right? Everything consider that just for time being, just for sake of simplicity, we can consider that everything is a piece of state. Wherever we see the color of black, everything is a piece of state layer. So inside this device, we have a guard ring. Okay, so we have a guard ring. Maybe if I enable the guard ring, maybe you'll understand. Yeah, there is a OD. See, we have a guard ring. So this guard ring is isolated by this deep envelope. So that means this is the local substrate. Outside of the 
area wherever there is a black color areas are there everything is a piece of state layer this piece of state at this point of time it is not connected to any potential it is not assigned it to vdd or it is not assigned it to vss or it is not assigning to some other pin so that's the reason the tool is identifying that if you simply extended this deep envelope layer from away from your envelope layer if it is not properly overlapped so we will be end up with some unwanted errors see sometimes this is easy to identify if you know why the errors are uh, popping up from the caliper window it's very easy to identify and you can resolve it but in case if you are not able to understand the tool and if you are not able to understand the lvs then this lvs error is very critical to handle same way we have a incorrect net as well see this incorrect net what is this incorrect net the net number 8 is a incorrect net see if you highlight here again the same place the tool will highlight okay what is this diode okay in this diode which net is extra net that is additional net that is net 8 positive terminal of the diode okay that is nothing but our anode terminal okay anode terminal is connected to some random number 8 net 8 okay so that's what the tool is showing that so one more floating net you will get it and additionally you will get another parasitic diode formation also you will get it okay so that's the only one reason what we have to do whenever we are working in the deep envelope layer our deep envelope layer so this deep envelope layer it should be exactly overlap our envelope okay it should not be uh, away from the envelope or it should not be somewhere misaligned with the envelope exactly it has to properly misalign it has to properly align with the envelope okay let us consider the second scenario now what i have done deep envelope layer is outside of the envelope layer we will examine the second scenario here scenario 1 our deep envelope layer is outside of our envelope this is the scenario first case another case deep envelope is inside the layout envelope is away from the deep envelope okay because we have only two layers okay case one deep envelope is outside of envelope case two envelope is outside of deep envelope okay in both the cases we will check the lvs how the tool is responding for that error in the previous lvs report we had only one error but now in this case see we have a different net additionally we are created another net called net 7 so now here net 8 so net 8 is the previous error what we had when we extending the deep envelope away from the envelope so now i'll just keep it side by side here so that we can easily understand right see first error diode where it is forming a diode is forming here so this is our error one so now what i have done it in the left hand side i just bring the deep envelope layer inside the envelope even in that case what i am getting i am getting additional diode formation here so where here see the tool is identifying that the deep envelope is not completely covered with the envelope so see here the deep envelope is not completely covered with the envelope so the red color line is the deep envelope layer exactly see this is the deep envelope layer so now i have disabled the deep envelope layer so there is the deep envelope layer it's, there is no deep envelope layer so here the deep envelope even though if it is a deep envelope is completely covered with the envelope but only one side the deep envelope is not properly covered okay left hand side the deep envelope is not properly covered or enclosed or overlapped with the envelope layer so again the tool is identifying that the deep envelope is a different diode the tool is completely identifying that there is a different diode formation in the left hand side and right hand side as well so that's the only one reason what we have to do whenever we are working in the deep envelope related layout that to in the manual gathering book so this deep envelope layer and envelope layer should be exactly overlap each other so we have to overlap like this okay it should not be inside or it should not be outside even sometimes what we will do by mistake we will add a small gap okay so like a very very tiny gap we will keep it here for example instead of keeping our deep envelope layer exactly like this uh, we will create a small gap so even though if it is 0.05 0.005 if the deep envelope is not properly covered with your envelope or uh, another case if the envelope is not properly overlapped with the deep envelope both the cases even though if there is a small value because this is our grid value so even though if there is a small misalignment or improper overlapping of deep envelope layer finally the tool will extract this particular small area also into a different diode so this is the main problem in the deep envelope so now i have extended this completely i have saved the layout so now again again i'll give the lvs check let's see the tool how it is giving the response you see now we have yeah here we don't have any errors except property errors 
okay so this is how we will end up with the problem in the deep and well in case if you are not properly aligned or overlapped the deep and well layer to the end well layer i hope i have given some valuable information to you in this video thank you for watching my video if you like this video please click like button and share this video to your friends for more details about this video please contact us to my email id and follow us on my facebook page and twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button